Okay, so we're doing something a little bit different here. We're using this iPhone to uh, capture some uh, some content here. So what do we have? This is the Caso Brave 7 LE that I bought um, under two years ago. Uh, maybe two years ago sometime. Uh, but regardless of that, this this camera is out of warranty, right? So I've had it at least a year. Uh, the reason we're reviewing it is because I have to send it back because I'm getting a refund. Uh, how am I getting a refund uh, when the manufacturer warranty has expired? Because I bought this from uh, Amazon and I bought the Shurion uh, third party warranty. So, um, they've approved for me to send it back. And so what I wanted to do before I send it back was to discuss uh, long-term durability regarding this camera. As you can see here, there's some pieces broken. Uh, here is the, uh, the battery compartment. And this is where that piece broke. This is where it was before it broke. Uh, glue is not going to fix this because this is a stressed right here where it broke. It was it broke due to stressing when opening and closing the compartment to, you know, swap out batteries. I have two batteries for this. It came with one and I bought an extra. So uh, another thing is a question would be raised is, well, uh, well, it looks like the latch still works. Can you not just continue to use it? Even with that piece broken? Well, look at this. Uh, let me see if I can get a... So, that's going to prevent the battery from having a constant connection. Um, if it's if there's enough room in there for it to wiggle and disconnect, then I'm going to lose power depending on what I'm doing. Um, so, I have not been using this camera all that much because when I first bought it the idea was for this to replace my GoPro Hero 4 that I still use um, so I'm still actually using that um, bought that maybe six to eight years ago um, have a lot of accessories for it so I'm, I'm I'm pretty much dedicated to the the GoPro ecosystem but um, that's not my first GoPro. And at one point, I was disillusioned by owning a GoPro because those are the top of the line action cameras. Uh, whenever someone talks about action camera, an action camera or cameras, um, more than likely someone's going to be thinking GoPro. That's the first thing that usually jumps to mind. Um, they are the, I wouldn't say they wouldn't be the trendsetters, but as far as most other action cams are, they, they, they try to mimic, uh, the GoPros, uh, most cameras, most action cameras, uh, that are, I guess, of this form factor are, you know, they exist because they're trying to mimic this camera, uh, most of the time the camera the the lens is in the same spot as well as the displays this one has two displays a front and a back um the reason i really got this one was because of the uh the tripod mount under here but uh this camera did not really work out well for me because uh it does not do well under low light conditions um the the video becomes pixelated uh not just video but all of it you know uh pictures, time lapses, or anything like that in the dark, uh, it becomes pixelated, or at least that, that was my experience until maybe last week I started playing with the camera again. And I realized that this has EV settings. So you can adjust between negative 2.0 to zero and from zero to 2.0 or in EV, any direction of those two. So, um, 
with a 1.0, uh, I guess, increment adjustments. So when you get the camera, it's at zero. Uh, you can go down to negative 1.0 and then negative 2.0, or you can go up to positive uh, 1.0 and 2.0. Uh, so I found that I got pretty decent content when bumping down the EV to negative 2.0 during low light conditions. And when I say low light conditions, I mean like if I, right now I have sunlight flooding this room indirectly, but it's to the right of the camera. So that way, uh, I mean to the left. Um, and plus there is a floor lamp in here that's catty cornered and that's also throwing light. So by low level, I would mean closing the window shade here and turning off that light and then putting the EV settings to zero, I would begin to see pixelation and it would get worse as the day kind of expires like 7 p.m. in here, there's, there's basically gonna be very little uh, sunlight. The sun is about to sink, I guess, at you know where I'm, where I'm located at, at seven o'clock. You would still get some uh, indirect sunlight, but it would not be lighting this room all that well. Uh, and that's where that camera would have issues. Like when the sun's getting ready to set, or after it's set, you know, if it's if you're trying to get footage like uh, in the dark, even if there is some indirect lighting, you're gonna see pixelation. Um, so I negated that by bumping the EV settings down to negative 2.0, and I was getting ready to you know take this camera because primarily I use my cameras for for the range. You know, you know I, I shoot firearms, I go to the range, and I mount my cameras on my hat, I always wear a hat with a bill. Uh, I mount it on the bill so that I can get a third person, well, more or less a, a first person view. Um, but I can't use it now. So my options were to, you know, my, my first thought was, okay, well maybe a Shurion can replace the camera. Uh, they didn't even try to replace the camera. They just said, here's a refund. Uh, which is cool because that's better than what I would have gotten if I hadn't have purchased a Shurion insurance, right? So I get a full refund with this. And so my second thought was, well, take that money and go back to Acaso and buy another one. Or maybe, an, you know, maybe their latest model because this isn't the latest model for them. Um, and then I thought, fool. Why are you doing that? This shit didn't even last two years. Why would you pump more money into something that has a low level, a low level of durability, right? So my thought is to now, they're gonna send me a gift card for this once, once they receive it. Uh, I'm going to take that gift card and buy through Amazon again and buy a, a GoPro, probably more than likely a 10 because they're still actively selling versions 10s, 11s, and I think they have 12s now. So, um, but really I wanna buy it, and I could at this point I could buy a used GoPro 10 Black and still get in, uh, a Shurion insurance, maybe buy a three year plan, so that when that, or if that goes out, I can do the same thing. So uh, that's probably what I'm gonna do. I looked at the GoPro uh, Mini and I almost bought it until I realized that that camera does not have a removable battery. So it's not interchangeable. Uh, that's a big no-no for me. Um, I've owned several cameras that had non-removable batteries and the batteries, you know, I barely got a year's worth of usage out of them because the batteries degrade. I don't understand why manufacturers do that. Are you doing it, doing it to for, uh, 
to force, I guess, upgrades. But really, uh, my expectation out of an action camera, it's got to last uh, at least a couple of years without issues. And if you're you're making the battery non-replaceable, that, that camera is going to have an issue. Uh, so, you know, and I found that out when I bought the Polaroid Cube 3. Great camera. I love it because it was super small. I could still use my phone as a viewfinder, you know, you know, via, you know, connection, uh, wireless connectivity. Um, but the same thing with that camera. Uh, now, I got more than a year's worth of battery life from that, but not much more. Year and a half before it tanked. And the thing with that camera is, is you could not even use that as a hardwired camera. It was always looking for that battery. So it's, it's not like I could have just kept it plugged in and used it as a, you know, as a desktop camera. It wasn't working. Uh, and again, I had several other cameras like that. Uh, so... I will not, and you know, my another option to replace this camera instead of the the, the GoPro would have been the DJI Pocket 2. Um, I was looking at that camera until I found out that the battery is not removable. I, I don't understand that. Um, it's really stupid because the, the the GoPro Mini it's it's not really a cheap camera. You know, with, with the Polaroid uh, Q Plus. I was, I spent maybe a hundred bucks on that camera and loved it. So it doesn't have to be cutting edge for it to kind of hit my little, my, my checklist, right? To, to tick off all those, those checks. Um, but, you know, the mini is, uh, it's 250 bucks, 250, 260 bucks right now on the GoPro web website. That's a lot of money to kind of be uh, knowing that that battery will eventually fail and it's not replaceable. And then when you get into the GJ DJI's, I'm not even looking at the Pocket 3. I'm looking at the Pocket 2. The Pocket 3 is probably a $500, $600 camera. Um, just, just thinking off the top of my head. It's probably in between there. Uh, the Pocket 2, I can find for maybe 250, 300 bucks. That's still a lot of money to kind of be wondering, okay, well, when's this battery gonna stop working? It will stop working. It will stop charging. Um, which means that you'll have a pretty much a brick, a, a paperweight instead of a $300 to $500 camera. I would I expect all cameras to be sort of like my GoPro, uh, my GoPro Hero, uh, my four. It's still going. I bought that thing that long ago, and it is still working. Uh, that's what I expect. I expect all such things to work until they can't anymore. You know, and and I know that that's that's kind of an ambiguous statement, but they should last at least. Two and a half, wait, two two years. I'd be pissed off if I can if I didn't get more than two years of usage out of a camera. Then I would still be kind of somewhat pissed if it did last that long, but not long after. You know, the more the better. There's no reason why some of these things, you know. Top of the line GoPro, $500 camera. In my opinion, when you spend more than $500 for a camera, you should be getting more than a one year's manufacturer's warranty from it. And that's it. Uh, so, I mean, we could talk about all of this for the next hour or so, but we, we've covered all the my, my bullet points here. Um, this is unscripted, but I have kind of what I wanted to say in my head. And that's it. So we're not going to buy any more Acasos. I would suggest folks to stay away from Acaso unless you don't mind shit like this happening in less than two years of usage. All right, bye-bye.